Welcome to the second Vivian demo. In the first demo, I created a very basic event file containing a room. I called it My Fantastic Event, but I hadn't really made it all that fantastic yet. In this demo, I'll continue working with the same file. I'll show you how to add tables and chairs with the seating wizard, resize the seating area, and put objects on the tabletops. First, I'll open My Fantastic Event by clicking this shortcut in the welcome window. Let's say I know my seating area is 40 feet wide by 60 feet long. How do I draw that on the page? First, I'll have to find out how big each square is on this grid. I'll click Options, Document Options. Then I'll click the Draw Defaults tab. This box tells me that each square in the grid measures 4 feet. First, I'll click the Seating Wizard icon, this little chair with a wand beside it. The wizard tells you how many tables and chairs will fit in your room. It also lets you choose from all kinds of tables and chairs in different seating arrangements. So many choices. I want the wizard to fill a rectangular space within my room. So in this first window, I'll leave Rectangle selected and then click Next. Now I'll draw the seating area by clicking in my drawing and dragging the seating outline. Remember that each square measures 4 feet, so if I want to draw an area 40 feet by 60 feet, I drag a line 10 squares wide by 15 squares long. Then I'll click in the drawing to place it. Click Next. An arrow attaches to my cursor, letting me set the direction that the chairs will face. I want them to face the front, so I'll move the arrow towards the top, and then click. Now I'll choose the table and chair style. I'd like round dining tables with six chairs, so I'll navigate through this window to find them. There are so many choices in this library. I'll click Tables, Imperial, Dining, Round, with chairs. Then I'm going to choose the four-foot table with six chairs and place settings. Here's a sample image of what it looks like. And then I'll click Next. I want Vivian to fit as many tables and chairs as possible into my room. So I'll leave this checkbox checked, and then click Next. Here's where you can specify any restrictions on the number of tables and chairs per row. I have no restrictions, so I'll leave both checkboxes unchecked. Click Next. In this window, you choose the seating style. I'm going to pick Banquet Style, and then I'll click Next. If you like, you can choose the exact spacing between the tables and chairs. You might want to do this to satisfy your local fire code, for example. However, I'll accept the default spacing and then click Next. And here's where you choose how to align your tables and chairs. I want them justified from the center of the seating area, so I'll leave this as the default and then click Finish. Et voila! That's French for ta-da! This window tells you how many tables have been placed in your room. Click OK. Let's click the virtual view to see what the room looks like now. Wow! Look at the tables and chairs. I'll just move around in the drawing by clicking my left mouse button and dragging it. Then I'll zoom in and out using the mouse wheel or the page up, page down keys. Oh, but wait a second. Barring, barring. It's my client calling. She's just hired a whole troupe of flamenco dancers and needs to make room for a bigger stage. I'll need to delete three tables. Luckily, in Vivian, resizing the seating area is as easy as clicking and dragging with your mouse. Vivian makes all the adjustments and tells you just how many tables you'll have to add or subtract to fill the new area. I'll click the seating area to select it. Then I'll click on one of these little squares in the corner and I'll drag it down to clear one row of three tables. Presto! Three less tables. I really hope nobody important was sitting there. Now I'll show you how to place an object like a plant on these tables. There are two parts to this procedure. To place a vertical object like a plant on a raised surface like a table, you first have to tell Vivian how high the table is off the floor. This starting point is called the height. In our example, we know that the tables are 2 feet 11 inches tall, so this is the height value. I'll press Tab, and then I'll type 2 feet 11 inches. Click OK. See how the value appears in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen? Now I'll go get the plant from Vivian's library.
library. From the library menu, choose Object. In the library browser, click the plus sign beside Decor, and then double-click Potted Plant to insert it in your drawing. Notice how this little fuzzy thing attaches to my cursor? That's actually the plant. Move the cursor to the center of the first table where you want to insert it, and then click to place it. I'll place the plant on a few lucky tables. When I'm finished, I'll right-click and choose Finish Library Item. Let's look at the virtual view to see our room. Wow! Tables, chairs, and plants. What's next? A stage? A backdrop? Maybe some pipe and drape? You bet. To see how my fantastic event becomes even more fantastic, watch the next demo in the series. Thanks for watching.